Hey, how we doing today, everybody? <clears throat> Sorry, it's been uh been a day or so, but I've been uh, been under the weather, man. I saw the mercy I had a, a bad week last week. Busy, boy, then I jacked around and I fell. Um, uh, then I come down with some kind of crud, man. It was a rough week, man. I'm just now getting over, it, but anyway, we ain't getting down to business today. I get a lot of questions about. Am I left-handed or right-handed or whatever, y'all? I I am I'm right-handed. All right, I learned to tie right-handed. This right here just happened because I was trying to help my son out. All right, and it's the only reason I started tying like this. And ever since I did, I just never flipped it back around. But I have people ask me all the time, you know. And it, it ba basically, it just comes natural to me, whether it's left-handed or right-handed or, or whatever, you know. And it, and it takes some, you know, getting used to. And once you get used to it, you know, you, you can basically, you can tie with either hand. So anyway, also, you know, there's a lot of debate. You can, you can buy, you know, buy things. I know everybody, you know, <clears throat> They have um, they have their favorites, you know, like like say monkey milk. Uh, this is monkey milk Chanel, y'all. You can buy this at Barlow's. You can buy it wherever. I prefer to buy my, all my all my material at Barlow's if they got it in stock, you know. Uh, speaking of that, any any day now. I should be in the affiliate program with Barlow, so I will be I will be able to offer a discount code on each of my videos, so all of my subscribers will be able to use the discount code and save some money at Barlow. So y'all look y'all look out for that. As soon as I get the email from Mr. Barlow himself, then. I will be able to offer it. It'll be posted on my video, be posted in their description. Just click on a link. <clears throat> you can, when you go to Barlow's, you, when you go to checkout, you can put a coupon code in, save you some money. So that will be great. Thank you, Mr. Barlow. I appreciate it. Y'all are wonderful people. Anyway, <clears throat> you know, I like to do things different. Yeah, you can go buy this right here. And you can make jigs with it, right? I've caught a lot of fish off of this, you know? And uh, monkey meal. Everybody talks about monkey meal. Look at that. There's a version of monkey meal right there. Uh, this tie with a regular monkey milk Chanel. It's a, a lead head, no paint. Uh, chartreuse, chartreuse, uh, chartreuse thread. Uh, it's got blue and white uh, bucktail. Then it has a blue and the pearl and the crystal flash, y'all. That's a version of it, all right? Here's another version. That song on there is Marabou. It has white and blue Marabou. All right, it has a crystal flash. I know you see that flash in there. Let me get it turned around. Look at that. Uh, it's tied with a uh, blue thread and it's a white pearl head. So there's many different ways to make, you know, the monkey meal. The thing about tying jigs, y'all, uh, is that it's, it's unlimited. That is what I love about it. That's what got me addicted to tying jigs. Check that out. There's another bit version of monkey meal. Uh, <clears throat> that is, um, this is made with a bucktail, uh, white and blue, uh, <clears throat> white pearl head. It's got a gray collar, collar meaning, you know, gray thread. Look at that. I guarantee you that all three of these will catch fish, y'all. Guarantee it. Uh, check this out. Uh, I like to be different. You know what I mean? I like to be different. Yeah, I can I can buy this all day long. 
And then I can throw them jacks together. You know, and if that's what, you know, hey, I'm in a business, you know, to sell jigs. I mean, if that's what, uh, if that's what somebody wants, they call and, you know, or go to the website. Let's, let's talk about that for a second. Let me back up. The website crash, y'all. It's unbelievable. Man, I'm so frustrated about that. So I paid a company to uh, build his website and it was, it's been ongoing y'all for a long time. Anyway, it got up and was running. I got some orders on it and was getting feedback and it run for like a week. Then it crashed. So I contacted a company that was holding the domain and was hosting it for me and it built it. And they're like, well, we don't know. Hold on. Make long story short, something happened literally we had to start from scratch again so any day now it's supposed to be back up and running the bad part about it is we had to change the domain name it cannot be texas cajun outdoors anymore we had to wait a year to get that domain name back so y'all be on the lookout mr tcojigs.com as soon as it is up and running, I'm going to put a link on all my videos. You'll be able to go in there and order jigs. There'll be a spot in there you can go in there and um, you can literally custom build your jigs, y'all. There's a If you want to order jigs, there's a spot you can select your head. You can select your Chanel. You can select your thread. You can select everything about that jig. You can select it. Uh, and it's just little pop-up deals. You click on and show the thread color. You click on the thread color, bam, 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 bam. You can knock that. You can, whatever you want on that jig. Anything you, anything that I got in stock, bam, you can click on it. The order comes straight to me and I'll get it filled. Remember this, MrTCOJigs.com. Any day now. All right. So, let's get back to what we was talking about. I like to be different, y'all. All right. This right here is from Barlow's. It's the Super Glow. All right. Protec. Super Glow Blue. Check that out. See that? Super Glow Blue. Protec, y'all. That is from Barlow's. All right. So, look at that. But that doesn't look like it, right? It's got some extra flash in there. Y'all see that? That's because this firecracker glitter, y'all. So what I did, this is Protect Firecracker Glitter, okay? So what I did is I dipped it in here. I dipped it in my blue first. Uh -huh. Then I dipped it in my firecracker glitter. Uh -huh. And give it that, you see that shine? Oh, I know y'all see that. Oh, yeah, because I got to be different, y'all. I'm a true, true, true believer in flash, y'all, in sparkle. Because you think about it, we are trying to mimic the natural prey of a crappie, right? If you really take a, take a minute and think about it, a minnow, a shad, a tadpole, whatever in the water... Next time you're at the lake or a pond or whatever, take one, you know, put in the palm of your hand, you know, in the water or even in a minnow bucket and let the sun hit it. You will see many different colors in that, that manner, or that shine or the tadpole or whatever in the world you got. Any kind of live bait, I'm telling you, they, there's tons of color, tons of flash in that natural, you know, the natural prey of the crappie. So that's what we're trying to mimic. Uh, and me, I am a 100% believer in flash, y'all. 100%. A lot of people may not agree uh, agree with me, but this is just, you know, decades of fishing and decades of studying how these crappie, what they eat, you know, studying their patterns. And I have found out over the years that the more flash that I can put in a jig, the more I can make it mimic the natural prey of the crappie, y'all. And that's what we're trying to do, right? So, today, we are going to tie the 
TCO version of the Dagum um, Monkey Milk, y'all. Ah, y'all know I like to be different. Give me this second. I'm digging through my thread here. And I'm telling you, yeah, there she goes. There she is. All right. We are going to use Danville 210 flat wax, y'all. Start, you know, make sure if it's, if it's a new roll, which this is not, you know, always cut me off the first two, three inches of it, you know. Because a lot of times it will not have no wax on it. And I, don't, I don't use any adhesive. So I'll make sure and use wax thread. Have your little tagline there. Start wrapping, y'all. Follow that tagline. <clears throat> that way, if you do it like that, there's you can see the whole length. And you want to cover that entire shank of that hook. Because this is your, to me, that's your most crucial part. Because uh, everything is tying into that bad boy, correct? That is your base layer. Everything's tying into it. And you do not want this song going to come apart, right? So, Flash of Blue Magnum. That's some Barlow's, y'all. Like I say, I try to use Barlow's. They're good people. They get it to me on time. And, uh... You know, I do order quite a bit, y'all. So, you know, I do get a, a pretty good discount. So, you know, if you start ordering from them all the time, you know, they, you know, they'll help you out. Anyway, Flash of Blue Magnum is 132nd. And that is blue. We're going to take that, fold that, just like a horseshoe. See that? Just like that. Just like a horseshoe, right around the head. Bam. All right. <clears throat> And it's holding against this thread, right? Fold it down. All right. I actually let it go when I shouldn't. Fold it down. You want one on each side of the hook, y'all. All right. Grab that sucker all the way to the tip of that hook, y'all. Make sure now that them suckers are different lengths. Because I promise you, see, and, and that's a little too close for me. I promise you them suckers will stick. You see that now? All right. Make sure they are different lengths, y'all. Because if not, you will run into trouble. You don't want that. You want them things to be moving all over in the water. So, this right here is also from Barlow's. It's, it's called Fish Air. <clears throat> uh -huh. They have it in six inch and they have it in four inch. I prefer the six inch uh, reason being is because I can get multiple jigs. See what I'm saying? <clears throat> so this is, that's six inches, tip to tip, start to finish, whatever you want to call it. If I'm tying a smaller jig, I can cut in half, right? And then fold that over. See if I'm tying a, you know, a 64th or something like that. Today we are tying a one eight. So I'm gonna take the whole six inches, y'all. All right, and remember, I'm gonna use two colors in that. So I'm gonna say I got about 15 strands right there. It's not very thick now. All right. I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna set that to the side. All right, same identical thing, y'all. Six inches, I'm gonna get me about the same amount out, all right? I'm gonna cut that bad boy. The entire six inches. All right, now, I'm going to put that together. See how I mix that together? Look at that. Mix it together, fold it in half, all right? You will have a few little wild hairs, you know, when you go to fold it. Don't worry about that at all, all right? You can reach down there and fold it back the way it needs to go. 99.9% .9 of the times, you can get it right. Sometimes you can't, you know what I mean? So anyway, if you can't, just cut that sucker off, you know, that way you, you know, 
I reached down there and cut it, you know, that way it's going into my little basket. But anyway, you see what I'm saying? All right. I didn't want it hanging out, going all over everywhere. So you don't have to do that. You can go ahead and lay it down on there. And then once you get it laid down, you know, you can cut it off. Anyway, get it where you want it. All right. Once you get it where you want it, put you some light wraps on there. Once you get it where you want it, start tying that bad boy in. Tie it in all the way to the base of that head. All right. Good, even wraps all the way. All right. From tip of that hook or where we started, all the way to the base of the head, then all the way back down. Make sure, guys and gals, that you're putting pressure on that. You don't want that going nowhere, right? And I'm tying my little knot. Uh, bam. We tie that bad boy off. Okie dokie. Now, you see how it kind of built up right there? It kind of sticking out at the head. You can take your scissors and cut that excess off. You don't have to because your snail is going to cover that up, right? But just to make it easy... And just for the video, we will cut it off. Okay, now, this is where I like to be different, y'all. Look at here. See this here? And see this here? Look. See that? We can make our own. We can make a double body. It's going to have more flash to it. All uh, right? And that is the name of the game, y'all. This is new age. All right. This all come from Barlow's. It's new age. It's light blue and pearl, y'all. All right. So, everybody knows that I take mine and I strip it down especially if I'm using two of them or if it's real thick, I take my fingers and uh, uh, I stripped that Chanel off, y'all. Some of it's harder than the others. So, anyway, don't help that my nails all messed up. So anyway, you see what I did? I stripped that Chanel off down to the thread, right? Oh, but wait. Hold on. Hold on. We missing out, y'all. Uh, we almost forgot our crystal flash. We don't want to do that. You know, it took me a while to where I really got to where I like this crystal flash because I've had it for years and I've, and I've tied, you know. I've tied with it for a very, very long time, you know. But it wasn't till I don't know, probably a couple of years ago that I really, really got interested in it. And I tied several different jigs with it and several different jigs without it. And then I just started fishing them, you know. And I, and I noticed that my my catch rate, you know, went up. So that's six inches too, on, you know, on this side. I'm going to cut that in half, okay. We're going to use about three inches of it, y'all. That's the wrong place. Let's put it back up. Uh, and we're going to fold that bad boy over in half, just like that. Lay that sucker right over the back of that, right over the sink of that hook. Get it where you want it and tie that bad boy down. Okay. If you want to use the same amount of care as tying this down as you did with your bucktail, right? Because remember, it's all tied to that base layer, y'all. All tied to that base layer. And you want it all tied in. You do not want it going anywhere. You want this thing to last you a long time, right? That's the name of the game, y'all. I don't not, you know, take by. I've actually had to buy some jigs, be on the road, forget my jig box. And I bought some jigs, you know, for two or three dollars a piece, whatever. And I'm telling you, within 10, 15, 20 casts, paint's coming off, 
the flash coming out of them. You don't want that. So I lay that right up against the base of my head, y'all. Started tying. And then I made sure to go back, you know, onto where I still had Chanel. All right. Look at that. There, here we go. Uh oh, and I caught up my flash right there. Make sure and double check you don't got your flash all caught up, y'all. Before you start wrapping. All right, y'all know when I do this? I just take it, make sure it's straight. All right, I pull it, then I start twisting. All right, when you start twisting, make sure that you got nice, even colors. That's what you're going for, a nice, even body, y'all. All right, now, you will notice that you can see, see, I went a little too far. It was too much. We backed up. We want a nice, even body. All right. Now, more times, three or four wraps in the front, and I switch over. Do you three or four good wraps in the back. Make sure, you know, that you put some pressure on there too now. I'm going to do a couple more in the front, y'all. This is basically just tying it off, you know, before you do your whip finish. Alright. Now we're gonna come in with our handy dandy whip finisher, right? Look at that. Catch it up top. Catch it in the groove in the bottom. Hold it tight. Start wrapping that bad boy up. So I do, you know, four, five, six right there, but y'all know I like to build that collar up. So I'm gonna build that sucker up. Yes, I do use some thread doing that. All right, but I want to be able to distinguish, you know, that extra color right there, believe it or not, it makes a big difference. And I can tell you in my catch rate, if I go fishing and I use a jig, you know, that, that the collar is not built up versus one where it's built up, I can tell you 100% fact. That color difference makes, I mean, it makes a difference. All right. Y'all check that out. Woo-wee, y'all. You see that? Now, a lot of people may argue this may do better. And hey, it may. You know what I mean? But that is my version right there, y'all. Check it out. That's the TCO version of it, y'all. Hey, what you think about that? That is a TCO monkey milk, y'all. And that is one of my go-tos on a clear, sunny day. And, and, you know, not no deep water. I fish this, you know, you know, eight to 10 foot, something like that. No more, you know, and I have very, very good success with that, with my version of the monkey milk. Now, thing about it is, <clears throat> you know, my version may not fit your lake. You know, it may not fit, you know, your type of fishing. So that's where this comes in. You have all different types of options, y'all. All kind of different types of threads. That's the deal about a jig, y'all. That's why, to me, 100% fact, without a doubt, the jig is the best crappie bait there is, and there ain't nothing you can say, you know, to change my mind because I fish with live bait. I fish with little beetle spins. I fish with everything you can imagine. And that jig offers more options than anything on the market for that daggum crappie to, to buy that. Y'all, I appreciate each and every one of y'all. Thanks for subscribing. If you like these videos, if you like this content, hey, please share it with your fishing buddies. We trying to grow this community. Just like this Barlow discount. The more people, the more subscribers I get, the more discounts, you know, I'll be able to offer, you know, to all these different places, you know. So 
it, it helps you out just like it helps me out, guys and gals. Look, God bless y'all. We will see y'all next time.